Assalamu alaikum this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double E Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to implement the following boolean functions using the decoder and some external gates and the combinational circuits are defined by the following formula so f1 is equal to x complement yz complement plus xz and f2 is another function which is defined by xyz complement y complement z complement x complement y and the third function is defined as x complement y complement and z complement plus x into y you must always remember while implementing the functions using the decoder first of all all the min terms should be in their standard format okay so if you look at the function f1 so f1 is the function of the variables x y and z and the first main term is x complement y z complement plus if you look at the second term here the main terms are not in the standard format and they are missing the variable y so x z can be written as x z into y plus y complement just to represent the main terms in their standard format okay so this becomes x y z plus x y complement and then z fine now we know that in the min term representation complemented terms correspond to zero while the unprimed terms corresponds to one similarly this will be zero so this is actually zero one zero and if you look at the min term number so this is zero two and zero so this corresponds to m2 similarly all variables are unprimed so this is one 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 and it corresponds to m7 and the next term is one zero one and if we look at the decimal equivalent of it so two raised to power one then two raised to power zero then plus 2 raised to power <clears throat> 1 so we can write it as 1 0 and 4 4 plus 1 corresponds to m5 or the fifth main term now the function f1 can be represented as the summation of the main terms 2 5 and 7 okay let's now look at the second function which is defined by the terms x y complement z complement plus x complement y and again here the third literal which is z is missing and we can represent the meaning terms in the standard format by multiplying it with the z plus z prime since z plus z prime is always equal to one and multiplying one doesn't change the expression so this becomes x complement y x y complement z complement plus and now you will have x complement y z then plus x complement y z complement okay again let's identify the min term number so this is 1 0 0 which corresponds to m4 this is 0 1 1 and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so this corresponds to m3 then the last one is 0 1 and 0 which corresponds to m2 hence the function f2 can be represented as the summation of the mean terms 2 3 and 4 all right now looking at the last expression of the function which is f3 in this case which is given as x complement y complement z complement plus x y and here the literal z is missing which can be found by multiplying it with the z plus z complement let's just identify the term so it becomes x prime y prime z prime plus x y z plus x y and z prime all terms are primed so 0 0 0 corresponds to m0 plus all terms are 1 so this corresponds to m7 and 1 1 0 corresponds to m6 okay so the last function that we have de de determined is the summation of mean term 3 0 this is 6 and 7 
all right once we are done with the identification of the min terms expression the next step is to select the decoder since the three variables are involved in it and the maximum output contains eight min terms so we will choose three two eight line decoder okay because this corresponds to n and this output will be 2 raised to power n fine so which will be equal to 8 output line so let's just draw it so this 3 to 8 line decoder will have 3 input variables which are x y and z and it will produce m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and the last one is m7 all right now let's just represent the functions as the summation of the main term so the first function f1 is the summation of 2 5 and 7 so i will take 2 5 and 7 and what i need to do I need to OR them. So I will apply the or use the OR gate. So this will represent F1. The next function F2 is the summation of second, third, and fourth mid term. So I will take the second, third, and fourth mid term and I will OR them. In this way, you will get the F2. The last function is F3, which is the summation of 0, 6th and 7th min term. So let's just take the 0th min term. Sixth min term and the seventh min term and hold them. And in this way you will get the third output function. One thing you must always remember that while implementing the functions using the decoder the first step is you must always remember how the decoders are implemented okay so if and gates are used for implementing the decoders then you can simply use the or gates for summing them up okay but if the NAND gates are used for implementing the decoder for decoders then you should use the NOR gates for adding the min terms okay because NAND and NOR are equivalent to AND or implementation thank you for watching